I'm back with 10 more mid journey styles you can add to the end of your prompt separated by a comma to get some images like the ones I'm about to show you on screen now. Very cool, very fun, and we're going to start with colorful folk art 3D render. And you can see from this image, we've got that colorful folk art look, but in 3D, it takes on a whole different life. Futuristic car, it looks like a completely different, colorful style of car, but that nice, clean 3D rendered look. And Darth Vader, his whole appearance has changed he looks like something out of uh just a different sort of universe of star wars and that color like he's light side vader moving on to the incredible hulk just a hippie style with the flowers and all the colors on his skin i kind of just like the way it's interpreted him and added those elements onto him and of course the terminator again like a very almost candy skull style version of the terminator really happy with the imp what this style does, and it's probably one of my favorite ones in this video, but just really colorful and different. And Batman, while he still looks stark and mean and upset up top, it's almost like he can't help but hide the fact that he's happy from the head down. <laughs> he's got this colorful cape, which almost looks like a, uh, like a mat or something, and just that colorful sort of costume really brings him to life. In the modern family home, we've got those elements mixed into the shape of the home to create something completely different again, very modular, very colorful, and very modern. And Samurai, standing in front of Mount Fuji, I like the way it's added those elements as kind of like flat, sort of like three-dimensional pieces. The Samurai standing in front of it, it's uh, just a nice blend of different types of objects. And a diamond vortex effect. This was a little bit different again from the last one. You can see with Batman, it's like he's busting through some diamond and uh, shattering through, and there's a nice little vortex of pieces being sucked in around him. And Darth Vader looks like he's stuck inside some kind of diamond universe. An interesting effect, and the shimmery kind of like reflection of the diamonds and his helmet adds something to that image, which is kind of glamorous in a way. Futuristic car driving through a diamond vortex. Not super impressive, but you can still see how it's had that impact on the image. And the samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji, the way it's added that vortex into the sky and kind of had some diamondy colors as the main colors of the image. Very nice effect. And the Terminator, looks like he's coming back through time through some kind of weird, like I said, diamond vortex. <laughs> uh, but the time machine, it just has a diamondy feel to it. And the, the motion blur, just looks like he's traveling. And the woman's face, adding a little bit of reflection over the top, a little bit... Uh, not as, not as cool as the other images, but you can still see how it works. Nautical style. So a, little, a couple of weeks ago, I did a Popeye image, and I just thought of this and be, thought it'd be cool to try. And nautical style, you see we've got the woman with the kind of pirate style bandana up the top and the ship steering wheel next to her cheek. Very, very nautical and very sort of like out in the open seas kind of feel. Same with the Hulk. He is in a ship that is in the middle of some very rough ocean. Uh, nautical style Hulk. It really has an impact on the scene here. And the futuristic car looks like a car that drives on water, which would be cool if you've got a car that drives on the road and can very easily just traverse through water as well. And Batman looks like uh, an old painting of Batman after he's just arrived from a long trek on sea back in the early 20th century. Uh, also judging by that painting style and the way it's kind of faded, just has that look. The Terminator, similar again, except more of a he just sunk the Titanic type look. I think very interesting. And again, that blend of face and skeleton. I always have a good laugh at how that turns out. Samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji has added a bunch of water between him and Mount Fuji. And uh, that seems to be the main impact it's had, but it's also made like a vector style, which could be by chance, but uh, you can still see the elements of water being added in there. Also, if you haven't yet, don't forget to check out my Mid Journey Styles pack of 1,000 Mid Journey Styles just like these that you can try. There's a link in the description if you want more information. Extreme radioactive colors. This adds a ton of color to your images. So once again, Batman looking very, very bright and extreme. And the pink eyes are just add a little bit of meanness to him again still. And the woman's face, she looks like she is glowing with radiation. Kind of like a little, she's got some kind of weird superpower with those yellow eyes, but... Uh, not the healthy kind of suit power. The type of suit power that means you're going to explode in about 10 minutes. And the samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji, same layout, nice use of colors. The use of yellow around the samurai just kind of like really highlights them up against the pinks and the blues of the background. And Mickey Mouse is a little bit more inverted, a little bit crazy looking, but still looking quite radioactive. And the Terminator. The eye is exploding. The use of the yellows and the neons, just, again, a really nice use of colors, and it just really 
really striking colors to use in any image. Minimalist maximalism. So this one was an experiment. Since they are both conflicting terms, you move on to the woman's face. It's very minimalist. Uh, you quite often get minimalist images, but you also get some details as well. Not so much with this one, but you move on to the futuristic car. It's very simple and minimalist, but there's also just a lot of details added within or around the edges of these objects. As you can see in the wall and on the ground, it's instead of being a clean minimalism, it's kind of like a dirty minimalism. I don't know if that makes sense, if you can understand what I'm trying to say. But Batman, you can see how he's a minimalist style image, but the bits and pieces of like, so like dots and kind of concrete texture has kind of just taken that minimalist look and dirtied it up a bit. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what you get when you try this in mid journey. Same with the Terminator. I don't know why he has a gun sticking out of his shoulder, but you get the idea. It's a nice clean minimalism with those dirty bits of paint around him just to kind of add to it. The samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji. Simple layout, but the detail and the reflections I thought was uh, pretty cool. So the way it tries to include both, I think is interesting. 8-bit platformer game. So we've tried 8-bit and pixel art in the past, but this is specific to platformer games. So with the woman's face, this looks like something you would see on a Super, Nin Super Nintendo, uh, but obviously a lot dirtier, a lot more sort of glitchier. And Darth Vader. So he has his own platform game again. Could be like an 8-bit Nintendo or a Super Nintendo, and he is about to jump off and head to the right to find whoever it is he's trying to kill. And Hulk, once again, this also looks like one of those screens you'd see in between levels. Um, the way it has green in the clouds, I thought was a nice touch, and just the graphics in general, very two-dimensional. And the Terminator, again, looks like the intro screen to a Sega Mega Drive game. Terminator staring at a massive giant Terminator, like that's the boss you're going to face at the end of the video game. That pixel art style, very cool. And Modern Family Home just looks like a home that you would walk past in a video game. Still pretty cool. And Batman, you're about to head off down the left and find your enemies to kill. And for some reason, there's a bat in the middle of the sky that looks like one of the Batman logos. And the futuristic car, I really, really thought this was cool. Kind of like an old pixel video game, but the car kind of reminds me of the F uh, Back to the Future car, the DeLorean, but uh, just a little bit different, more futuristic sort of surroundings. Kind of like a mixture of Back to the Future with some Terminator-esque buildings. And of course, Mickey Mouse is about to run off and jump into his game. And uh, I really like the uh, just the impact this phrase had on pretty much every image I, I gave it. Grunge metal style. So I thought... This would be interesting to try to see if it would actually match the musical genre or whether it would try to match the metal. And it's kind of done a bit of both. We've got the guitar, we've got the metal and the rust and that grungy feel to it. And the woman's face, we've got more for that grunge look where it's like a really grungy photo with a really nice effect. And same with the samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji. Really grungy looking painting with metal and rust colors applied to it. In the Terminator, this one just looking dark and grungy. You might find that on the front of a grunge metal cover maybe, but otherwise just that grungy kind of rust feel mixed in with some blue. And the metal, I feel like the red and the orange is like the rust and the dark blue is kind of like the metal. And again, with the Futuristic Car, we've got that grungy rusted metal look with the colors and even the surface of the car is a little bit grungy and kind of yuck. In the modern family home, the way it's added that sort of like texture to the walls, it's had an impact on the sort of surroundings of the home itself. And Darth Vader, he is in his metal band and he's playing the guitar. So you kind of get the you can kind of get the feel for it there. In the style of Disney storybook animation. Some people have been asking for more children-friendly style, so I thought I'd try this one out. In the Hulk, straight out of a, a, a Disney movie. Very toonish and uh, very nice uh, style. You move on to the woman's face, and there's also a very kind of like high level kind of film cartoon style, but uh, just really crisp. And that glow down the side of the cheek really reminds me of a lot of modern animation where they've tried to add a little bit more to it to take away that flat look. And the Terminator looks like a cartoon character. That's again a gun sticking out of his shoulder. I think that's because of the old T1 poster where he's holding it up in the air. But overall, looks like a really cool character. Darth Vader, very unimpressed. Like a very Pixar almost type of cartoon character. But like comic relief type movie that he's in. Batman, he always looks deranged or angry in some way. But just this one is a bit more of a high-end cartoon character style. And of course, the Futuristic Car... 
just uh, kind of looks like something you'd see in a in a 3D animated cartoon, but still very cool, very shiny, and um, yeah, not quite as impressed by this as the other styles, but still a cool image. And the futuristic home, again, a 3D home from some kind of Disney 3D movie. I think that turned out pretty cool. It's like something you would see in a movie in an opening scene. And non occluded geometry style. I could be saying that wrong, unfortunately. There's a lot of stuff in these styles that I uh, sometimes just don't know about. Kind of like a non geo -ge It's kind of like using shapes that are non-geometrical, -ge I think, is the uh, interpretation. As you can see it here, the way it's used the shapes in the woman's face. And Darth Vader, it's popped him with a triangle effect around him. And then you got another kind of like triangle down the bottom. This, I thought, was nifty. And if you look around the sides of that triangle, just the buildings are sticking out in that 45-degree angle. Very cool with the Death Star just sort of subtly placed in the background. And Batman, again, the way it's used some shapes and kind of like the way it kind of wraps around his head in a way, it's an interesting effect on the image. In the Terminator, he is more made up of the, these elements. You can see them around his neck, and you can see them inside his face. Very sharp, triangular-type pieces making up his face. In the futuristic car, it just looks like a 3D render of a car, but I do think the shape is a little bit more in that direction as well. A little bit more subtle, though. The vintage collector's tin. This is a really, really cool way of putting something onto a collector's tin. So Mickey Mouse, this looks like an old tin from the 30s. Like it's been found at uh, your grandma's house after she's passed away. And you've got this Mickey Mouse tin. Same with Batman. This one looks like an old tin from the 60s. And the artwork style really matches and the way that the tin looks corroded. It's just a nice touch. And again, with the futuristic car, just like a print of a futuristic car on the tin, but more metallic. And Darth Vader, his chest or his stomach panel, I should say, is on the front of the tin and his face is on top, but still got that really old school kind of like art style. The Terminator, similar. The art style is not quite as old school, but I mean, the Terminator does have that look. This looks like it could be an old 80s tin. And the Hulk definitely has that old art style. Definitely looks like an old rusty tin. And I thought this was just a really fun one to play with. But the Modern Family Home. The tin gets opened up and the home is inside the tin. So that was an interesting, interesting twist on the modern family home. In a woman's face, we get a woman's face, old-fashioned painting on the tin, like we'd probably expect, but this is a lot older looking than some of the other ones we saw. And those are the styles for this week, guys. Thanks for watching again. We've got more coming. So uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. Don't forget to check out our playlist. We've got a whole bunch of other style videos there. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.